very good morning children welcome to your maths class i hope you had a wonderful sunday and had a lot of fun and did practice a little maths okay and since you are done with your sunday let us come back to monday where we are starting uh, where we are doing fractions so so far we have learned a lot of topics under fractions we have done multiple classes on how to compare fractions Today we are going to learn how to add unlike fraction, okay? So what are unlike fractions? Do you remember? Unlike fractions are fractions where the denominator is not the same, okay? For example, let me take, let me take two unlike fractions, 1 by 2 and 1 by 3. And I have to add them, okay? Let me take this a little complicated. Let me make this 2 by 3. Okay, so what is the first step that I will do? Okay, just like comparing fractions, to add unlike fractions, because the denominator is not the same, what is my first step? My first step is to take LCM, take LCM of denominator. Okay, take LCM of the denominator. All right, so what is the denominator here? 2 and 3. The LCM of 2 and 3, since they see children, 2 and 3 are both prime numbers. So the LCM will be 2 multiplied by 3 that is equal to 6. Okay, now what I have to do is I have to write the fractions in such a way that the denominators are 6. Okay, so what I will do is I will write 2 multiplied by 3 is 6. So in the first fraction, I will multiply the denominator with 3. Since I am multiplying the denominator with 3, I will also multiply the numerator with 3. Okay? For the second fraction, what will I do? I have 2 by 3. I will multiply the denominator with 2. Why? Because 2 multiplied by 3 is 6. We have to convert these fractions into like fractions with the same denominator. Okay, so that is my step one. Okay, so since I am multiplying the denominator by 2, I will also multiply the numerator by 2. So my step 2 is convert, convert the fractions, convert the fractions into like fractions like fractions with lcm as denominator okay with lcm as the denominator then after that all i have to do is multiply so 3 multiplied by 1 is 3 3 multiplied by 2 is 6 and then i'll have 2 multiplied by 2 is 4 2 multiplied by 3 is 6. Now see children, since the denominators are the same, what I can do? I can group them under the same denominator and then I will add the numerators. Okay, I'll add the numerators. So the, fourth, the third step is to add numerators. Okay, so once you add the numerators children, what do you get? 4 plus 3 is 7. 7 by 6 and so when you add these fractions these unlike fractions you will get 7 by 6 let me go through the steps over again if you have two unlike fractions unlike fractions meaning the denominators are not the same what will you do you will take the lcm of the denominators that is your step one so once you take the lcm of the denominators you have to write the fractions in such a way that the L, that the denominators become the LCM. Okay. So in the first in the first fraction, I'm multiplying the denominator with three to get the LCM six. Since I'm multiplying the denominator with three, I will also multiply the numerator with three. So after multiplying Apply multiplying the first fraction, I'll move on to the second fraction. In the second fraction, I need the denominator as 6. So I'll multiply it by 2. Since I'm multiplying the denominator with 2, I will also multiply the numerator with 2. Okay? 
afterwards multiply the fractions multiply multiply wherever the the cross sign is there you will get 3 by 6 and 4 by 6 after that group group uh, the uh, fractions with the same denominator and add the numerator so once you add the numerator what will you get you will get the result okay let us try another problem okay this was 1 by 2 plus 2 by 3 let us try another problem okay let me take fractions 1 by 5 plus 7 by 15 okay 1 by 5 plus 7 by 15 here the LCM of 15 and 5 you can do the prime factorization okay so 5 and 15 are both divisible by 5 so I can write 5 3s are 15 5 1s are 5 therefore LCM of 5 and 15 is equal to 5 multiplied by 3 that is equal to 15 itself okay all right so what is my next step i have to convert the fractions into like fractions with lcm as the denominator so i will convert 1 by 5 so when will i get 15 children when i multiply 5 with 3 since i am multiplying 5 with 3 the denominator with 3 i will also have to multiply the numerator with 3 okay plus 15 multiplied by 1 is 15 so i can leave it as it is so i can also say 7 multiplied by 1 so see children i'm leaving it as it is because any number multiplied by 1 is the number itself so after i multiply what will i get i'll get 3 by 15 plus 7 by 15 right children so after that all i have to do is convert them under the I'll like group them under the same denominator that is 15 and add the numerator 7 plus 3 or 3 plus 7 which is equal to 7 8 9 10 you get 10 by 15 okay is it all right children I hope this point is clear I hope you can add unlike fractions now okay all right okay so let me just give a small word problem to you to think about. Alright. Let me say that Raj ate one third of apple. Okay. My favorite examples are of that of apples. So Raj ate one third of the apple and Ravi ate one seventh of the apple of the apple okay how much apple how much apple did they eat together okay so you have one third of the apple Ravi ate one seventh of the apple you have to find how much apple they ate together this is your question number one. Question number two is Rita ate, let me go with the same example. Rita ate one two third of the pizza. We all like pizza, so I'm taking pizza. An apple a day makes the doctor, keeps the doctor away. So I'm taking the example of apples as well, okay? So Rita ate two third of the pizza and Rina ate one fifth of the pizza. Okay, how much how much pizza did they eat together? Okay. So see children, Raj ate one third of the apple, Ravi ate one seventh of the apple. You have to find how much they ate together. So to find how much they ate together, 
you have to add them up okay add the unlike fractions up in the second question rita ate two third of the pizza and rita ate one fifth of the pizza you have to find how much did they eat together again you have to add them up okay so i hope today's class was clear to you but still if you have any problems please get back to me okay i'll see you tomorrow thank you